Bruce Blade. Shut up. Shut up, Samuel. I get it. Shut Destroy up when I'm talking to you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Samuel. Okay, sorry. Did okay. I ask you, Samuel? I was trying to do that thing where it's, it's not funny and then you just keep doing it until it becomes funny. But you gotta be dedicated for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be major dead. Whoa. There's a fucking great. Oh, shit. There's a great H3H3 H3 video where they go and watch one of the first videos they ever put out, and it is so painful. I bet it is. Yeah, he, Actually, I feel like I want to go watch my first video. <laughs> the one. Dude, the, you, there's a video you haven't even uploaded. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> nice helmet. Um, no, you play you play Vladimir on League of Legends, and I'm pretty sure it's so old that the the new the new environment isn't even on there. And well, Vlad's been updated since then. Yeah, that's so funny. It's so funny. It starts with you. Um, you dance to to music that you can't fucking hear. Uh, no, I thought that that's a that's a Lolan. That's a different video. No, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, no dude. That... I've watched this, dude. You haven't re released it. It's private. It's on the. It's, it's still uploaded. It's just private on the. Channel. Oh, it's a private video. Yeah. Okay. And you you just start jamming out to a song, and then you say, "Love that song." And <laughs> meanwhile, can't nobody hear can hear that song. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it's hard because you imagine everything that's coming into your headphones. Jesus, that's what crushed me. Yeah. So where? So what's the solution here? I have no idea. Like, let's see, let's see that happen again. This is like mechanical. Yeah, board. so that stops, and then I think you have to jump on top of it or something. Or no, grab it on the way out. Fuck! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Probably not here. Maybe I don't know. I mean, this one's closer. I can maybe jump onto it probably yeah. yeah yeah jump on that platform as it comes out that's oh my is. god that's so terrifying <laughs> <laughs> that's totally what got me holy shit <laughs> how fast it comes out i know it's specifically designed just to mash oh, yeah. you you got plenty of time you just gotta focus okay focus <laughs> oh man i almost went i thought it was gonna stop it's like a slot like, don't, wheel don't, like, no, wait no. wait until the actual platform comes out all right go now Oh, oh I, I totally that was me I, I fucked you on that one is that the way to go though oh yeah oh yeah you it was just like you were just like a second away so it didn't consider that a climbable platform no I think I was too late yeah you thought I was too really? early yeah you thought I was too early I definitely thought no, I, was I too think late. you have to grab the top of that of that okay well bitch oh my too early oh or my too late. i don't know i'm pretty sure that you just did i think that just worked i don't think that was how you're supposed to no do that's it. totally how you're supposed to do it yeah I love how we, no i is, figured that shit out this is the most disagreeing we've ever done in an episode it's like everything we've said now has been just a disagreement oh god that guy disagrees with your face yeah i disagree with his rocket dick yeah i disagree with his uh he doesn't no, have a seriously dude there's fire coming out of his crotch i think it's just the way he's hunched Oh, he's crotch. a puncher. Crotch is such a such a family friendly term for it. Yeah, groins another. Look what? down at your what? crotch. Did you see that? Did you, did you like not rip it off? I, I landed a glory kill on him while I was underneath the platform, so it teleported me on top oh, so nice. that I could land it. These guys are a nice little mix because they're, they're every, not too strong. You you you're just mashing people, and then this guy comes along, and you have to actually focus on him. Yeah, he takes more shots. It's like a tank, but not nearly as annoying. And by tank, I'm talking about Left 4 Dead. Have I told you the story about my teacher, the teacher in the crotch? <laughs> Have I told you about the teacher in the crotch? <laughs> no. The teacher in the crotch. Hi, go the Whoa, Dario. The that is a lot of ammo. Crotch. Oh yeah, it just it, ra it just rains. Oh, see, I don't have enough ammo to kill that guy. It just rain Wilson's the ammo out of there. I'm wondering how much ammo you actually need. Rain Wilson was in uh, the House of a Thousand Corpses. Yes. Yeah. He is. I mean, he's he's a victim, so it's not like he's he has the mermaid like a major slur. Role. Is what he is. The mermaid what? The mermaid slur. It's the name of that sixth, really? sixth song. No, that, that's what that's named after. No, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's a callback. It's a popular term in comedy where you take a a, a thing you've already said and say it again. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. I know you. I know you know what a callback is. <laughs> Well, if you don't explain it to me, I won't know. If you don't stop the game and hand feed it, and by hand feed it, I mean shove it down my throat, I'm not gonna understand it, game. 
Yeah, games games really really do think that people hate finding stuff out on their own. The the biggest problem is what I was always doing with this channel. I thought I knew what people wanted to see from this channel and really what I was showing them was what I wanted to see. So we've just embraced that. Well, now we've embraced the idea of just doing what we want to do. Before it would be like I would be worried about being in menus too long because oh people don't want to watch oh they don't want to see this and shit like that or or spending too much not not listening to the conversation or skipping things and like I just I thought that's what people wanted to see and now we've realized it's a much better to do what we want to do. Well, some of the best things are the unexpected things. That's what's so great about um, sports is that sports have no script. Like yeah, I was watching a fight the other day. And uh, the two guys are going, it's a three round fight. They fight for two and a half straight rounds. And then you know how sometimes when you're working out, the last 10 seconds, you'll just go way harder. Mm -hmm. like you're, run you're running and then you'll just sprint. So in the last 10 seconds, the one guy looks at the other and he just points at the ground. And the other guy nods. And they both walk up to each other and then they just don't move their feet. They just start swinging at each other's heads. Like they're just full on <laughs> blasting at each other. There's no more st skill involved. They're just like, this is it. We're brute, going brute force. Yeah, yeah, we're going home on our shields. It was just it's awesome because if someone told you oh, this is what awesome, you're gonna do, dude. it would have ruined it. Going home on our shields. That's like that needs to be a popular term. Yeah, well 300 tried to make it one, but people were more concerned with the slow motion and the nudity. I concerned. <laughs> you know, you know what concerns me? The slow motion nudity. I'm, I like slow motion I'm nudity. I'm very concerned. Oh yeah, it gives you more opportunities to uh, really Enjoy the nudity. You know, you know, feel it. And yourself. And by self, I mean... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pump that Argent Tower is what I'm talking about. <laughs> pump the Argent <laughs> Tower until the demons come out. <laughs> you gotta get that Argent energy out or it's gonna build up. Whew. I don't know where I'm going. I, I, I never know where I'm going. Testosterone, man. It's fucking intense. Testosterone? Testosterone? <laughs> Testosterone? <laughs> Samuel Testosterone? <laughs> oh my god. It's, uh, it's, it's, um... There's a lot of things I never understood when I was young. Uh, women with mustaches. Uh, that's a, like, like you know women, like some women have like a tiny, like way more fuzz above their upper lip than, than most others. women. It's testosterone. You'll probably notice those women are a lot more aggressive. <laughs> I this is coming off as like a real asshole thing to say, especially in our current society of conversations regarding gender. I'm really just talking about women. I'm not talking about anything else here. But it is. It's, it's, dude, like, oh, I'm just worried I'm gonna get crushed. If you look at, at, uh, any, pretty much any animal in the animal kingdom, it's aggression and then it's testosterone levels, you will find a perfect correlation. You know what the most aggressive animal in the animal kingdom is? A hippo? The bull shark. Oh, yeah. And it also has the highest level of testosterone pound for pound than any other animal on the planet. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Looking for testosterone? You've come to well, the right place. Well, it's also easy to forget that uh, that women do have resp responses to testosterone. Like, you just assume, like, oh, yeah, men have testosterone, women have estrogen, and that's how it works. But, like, when women get testosterone, it still affects them. It's still a hormone. Oh, I'm pretty sure we both have both. It's just yeah. the levels. Like, this why it's what the, the term effeminate for a male is often associated with a high level of estrogen. Now it's, that I've never seen any science on. Oh, no, me neither. But we're on a show, brother. It's not about science. It's about what people choose to believe you say. <laughs> All right? People will pay what they expect to pay, and they will believe what they expect to believe. If you tell somebody something that sounds too good to be true, they'll believe it. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't, yeah, I think it's the other way around. Yeah. That was actually something that um, one of uh, Hitler's great advisors said. If you tell a little lie... People will believe it's a lie because they themselves tell little lies. Mm. But when you tell a big lie, people are less inclined to believe it's a lie because they'd never tell a lie that big themselves. And he's probably one of the best examples of what you can do by choosing to to lie. Yeah, well, to put intention behind your lies too. Because in the past, in the past, uh, a society. Oh, I can't go in there. Oh well, a society. Two societies warring would have been really easy to con <laughs> convince one side to fight the other because it was about survival. 
in the forties, it was like one of the first times where that was no longer the case. Like it was like, well, no, in the, f I guess it ha didn't happen. Oh no, it did happen in the forties. Um, we were like societies were just climbing out of that world of survival. Like technology was getting to a point where resources were becoming a lot easier to get. We had telephones and shit. Um, so it was a lot harder to convince a, a country to go to war than it was back in the 1600s. Because back then it was like, we don't have shit, they have shit, we're gonna fight them. And everyone's like, alright, cool. Yeah, we're gonna take what they have. Yeah, exactly, because it was either them or you. But in the 40s it was totally different. So to, to convince a, a society to not only go to war, but to convince them that a group of people was not what they seemed, uh, it's just... Um, I'm trying to look for, I'm trying to find the word without offending anybody. Well, it was amazing. Amazing, extraordinary. I mean, still not Terrible. not cool. I'm not okay with it. But if you if you choose to, if you choose to say, oh no, you you can't you can't speak it positively about Hitler at all, then we'll never learn anything. It's true. You have to look back at history in order to learn how we move forward. Yeah. And a lot of people have been talking about that because of the recent election that I'll won't mention. <laughs> If you know what we're talking about, then you already understand. I, I have the best elections. <laughs> all, all of the best elections. The shortest, the fastest, and the best elections. We yeah. got aliens. We got them all. Well, the, Better than Mexico, even. What am I, <laughs> we're the snow Mexicans. I love that term. <laughs> Me too. I think, I think it's probably very offensive to the Mexican people. No, dude. Well, probably. Like, they probably look at it and they go, well, that's just... Like, well, what you're doing there is you're making the word Mexican sound like anyone who's not American is Mexican. It's way better, though, than there was a time where Mexican was used so often in a derogatory term. That, uh, there's, like, I think last session of this show, I said Mexi people from Mexicans or from Mexico and Mexican people. And there was a second there where I thought I said it wrong because it was used as a, like, a derogatory term when I was young, uh, especially online. Like, really? Like people would like yell, yeah. yeah. You're Mexican? Well, it's like packy. Like you want to choose to associate one skin color with one, or, yeah, a skin color that ha is, comes from many different countries. <laughs> well done, brother. Okay, wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was at low elf and I thought, okay, so these things probably have health. Those things are explosives. <laughs> I'm supposed to kill enemies with them. Oh, you have one health, by the way. That's the, that's the whole thing about this level, I think that you're trying to use the explosives. Yeah, that's brutal. Um, yeah, but what I'm trying to say here is that really bugs me that calling somebody a Paki because they have brown skin. There's a lot of countries that have brown skin, people. Yeah, I think the only issue with that is like there's, there's certain situations in which, you know, you are truthfully talking about Pakistani people. Yeah, absolutely. And then... But it's usually der it's usually cement in a derogatory term. It's true because I, I know a reasonable amount of racist people. But otherwise, that term would make sense. Like the short form for Pakistani would be Paki. It's just the fact that we've associated it with yeah. Well, it's just used so brazenly and so often that it just comes off as offensive now, especially when you just assume. Well, it's like Asian for a bit there was a word like that that people were offended by. But it's a fucking continent. It's it's not a like. The, like, Oriental, that's not correct, because the Orient is, like, I think that was a thing that used to exist. The Orient? The Orient, yeah. I thought that was still a thing. It might still exist. It really did. It's probably, the whole, th there's people right now who are already mad because we're talking about it. And if you're mad because we're talking about it, fuck you. This is a conversation. This is what, this is dialect. This is commentary. I'm punching the air right now because I'm mad about people being mad. The, the, the whole point of these words that we came up with, because as opposed to the the <laughs> that we used to do before we had words, is to talk. Shouldn't be offended by a conversation. Well, you should not be offended by a conversation unless the content of that conversation offends you, and you feel like the people are doing it intentional. Intentional. Yes. If a conversation is meant, if it's like, if the conversation's like, man, why are men so fucking stupid? Let's talk about that. Like that. Okay, I can see where you're going with that. That's. <laughs> Like you're implying there's a problem there, but if you're if you're like, let's discuss the the uh, intellectual levels of men and women. If you're already upset, there's a problem. You need to talk more to more people. <laughs> well, it just means that you're not even trying to absorb the yeah. understanding of the conversation. Like Probably. people don't have conversations 
specifically to piss people off. People have conversations because they're trying to discuss. They're trying to yeah. figure it out. But if you have no one to discuss with, it's a waste. You know, if you say something and you're like, I really want to talk about this. Like, one thing I've wanted to talk about for a while is, why do women think being a woman is better? Because I know, like, for a lot of guys, they're like, oh, being a guy is so much easier. Right. You know, you don't have to deal with the, um, like, a mon lot. monthly stress. Yeah. You don't have to deal with a lot of, like, societal pressures and issues and stuff like that. Oh, dude's just hounding you. Yeah, exactly. So I, I've always wondered, like, I'm sure women still, like, there's still lots of women that think it's better to be a woman, but I just want to know why. Like, I just want to ask, like, hey, what, what... I think you have to shoot those. Yeah, they do kind of look glowy, don't they? Yes, that's what I meant. Grenade. <laughs> well, it's weird. The grenade, I always forget we even have a grenade. <laughs> yeah, it's not very useful. Yeah, but I, I just think it seems like people would get upset. They're like, well, well, why does it have to be one have to be better than the other? And it doesn't well, have to no. be better. The question is, why do you think it's better? Because it's the same situation where <clears throat> I'm always going to assume what I'm doing is better. Because if I assumed what someone else was doing was better, I'd be sad, right? I'd be like, oh, well, yeah. I wish I was a woman. Like, well, did, okay, what are you going to do about it? Are you, are you just going to be upset about it or... Are you actually going to change? Yeah, I mean, those are your options. So for me, it just seems like, well, I'll just be happy with what I have. I'll just you know, assume what I, like, my side of things is the best side of things, but I want to hear it from the opposite perspective. And I feel like you just can't ask those questions. You know why men are better? Because men would never jump into a giant beam of hell. That's like so that. not true. A dude would do that just because a chick with a really okay, nice okay, ass told him okay, to. Okay, fine. Okay, but they wouldn't say her the lame line that she just had. What'd she say? This is not the end. It's only the beginning. Oh. <laughs> you know what's funny about that is that it prob a man probably wrote that. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty tough line. Yeah. But I, I would say it's... I think it's really interesting that, like, the only parallel I 100% I see that it seems like when you're a woman it would be awesome is that... When men and women have sex, it seems like the women enjoy it more. But in uh, it seems like it. No. No? Because I've I've never heard a dude say like, yeah, that that wasn't that great. Ever. Well, I mean and that's it's, and it, it's a common. It's like it's that's a, true, but I've like, also never heard of a dude like yelling and screaming yeah, for like five minutes in a row. We just before. choose to. We just choose to. Um, uh, lie less <laughs> well i guess what i feel like is <laughs> don't just breeze over that that was why good. not that was a fucking good joke right <laughs> um no i think the um uh no i think the, uh, I've, I've gone over that a couple times with myself wondering whether it would be better to be a woman or a man but i'm ultimately always going to come back to wanting to be a guy because we don't have to deal with with uh like women don't constantly berate men for not berate um pursue mm, even yeah. even average looking women get hit on uncomfortably by a lot of men a lot and it's it's a fucking joke it's hilarious to people oh ha ha although at the same time sexual harassment towards men is basically not a thing in a lot of people's heads so that's a bit of an issue but well i just think it's so strange that if if men were to do a lot of the same kind of things, like, you know how it was really classic for a lot of relationships for the woman to, like, use sex as a weapon and stuff like that? And, like, yeah. women tend, like, to behave in a way and the man's just like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll put up with it. Like, those are always happy jokes. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, those are always jokes that comedians go for. But what people don't think about is if it was the other way around, if men were behaving in that way, women would have no choice. They would totally be under the spell. They'd be like, oh, my God, I got to... Oh, I gotta, yeah. I gotta just like put up with this guy's bullshit because I gotta get some dick. Like I can't just <laughs> not. Like what, what else am yeah, I gonna do? We would all have to coordinate. What, all the, all the guys. Yes. Yeah, it's Cause, true cause because some guys would be like, oh, I'm just soon, gonna be the one who doesn't. Yeah. As soon as you have, as soon as you erect one Argent Tower, then all the rest of them are useless, right? Pretty much. So yeah, that's a bit of yeah, that would be an issue. But the, I've had like, I think I, I think one dude hit on me one time. Oh really? And that was enough for me. I don't think that's ever actually happened to me. Because it was like, it was one time, and I was like, all right. Like, I, I felt that was, was kind of weird, and then he got a little too close to me, and I told him to back off, and then he came, he got like really close to me 
again later the same day. Actually, come to think of it, that's so not true. A guy did hit on me one time. He tried to touch me. Ooh. It's really weird. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's really like, weird. I would not want that on a constant basis. And there's there's women um, like in, in my workplace who get constant like that from customers like dude Ooh. oh oh hey like how long how late you work in hey uh, you, you want you like can, can you can you send a female driver like shit like that like it's just you don't see that in the other direction very often or even enough to talk about it well yeah that's so true but that's what always surprises me why like a lot of women are not interested to learn martial arts but to me it feels <laughs> like yeah if you are part of a group which is generally muscularly deficient in comparison wouldn't you want to be uh like way ahead on your skills i really enjoyed how you danced around that that was nice well yeah no <laughs> muscularly deficient in comparison <laughs> it's true because there's there's no there's nothing Whoa. That's, what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> like i was just legs <laughs> it knocks two in a row knocks me back three in a row um I, yeah it just seems to me like if you're in a position where you might be physically outmatched you would want to be dominant in your skills well, look at right? look at Black Widow. She's a perfect example of a of a capable woman. And look at all of her moves. There's no full on fist punching. She's grabbing people. She's flipping them around. She's, she's using momentum. She's using their weight and momentum against them. She's spinning and kicking shit into people. Exactly. She knows that she's outmatched in a physical sense, and so she chooses to use the other things at her disposal. But it just seems to me like there's a lot of women who are afraid of confrontations like that like even you and me are afraid of physical. i'm afraid of that shit oh yeah. yeah but and like people have less reason to fuck with us so it just seems like as a woman that would be like one of my main priorities like learn how to kick the shit out of a big dude in case you have to i want to learn grappling because people don't give you space i want to learn grappling but i don't want to go to a grappling class because oh because you're gonna grapple every day that's the it's thing gonna you're gonna really grapple every day it's gonna be really hard on your joints and stuff you're like touching all these big sweaty dudes which is not like <laughs> not the end of the world but i feel like Look i feel like when i go to the gym i want to work out like a little more personally yeah like i wouldn't really want to spar anyone so i wouldn't really want to grapple with anyone either the like the the reason like the reason why i'm so turned off to that idea is joe rogan said i've had dudes sweat into my ear into <laughs> your ear yeah that's so fucked that's so gross oh shit <laughs> Like, yeah, that just, to me, that seems like a no thank you type moment. No thank Nope. Is there an alt fire on this thing? Uh, I haven't discovered it yet. Nice. Rip it off. I don't think so. Dude, I think that, I think that's like a partial portal to hell or something. Because that's, that, that keeps doing that. It looks like a glitch. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe that's just what's happening. Maybe it's like half porting them back to hell or something. Oh, jeez, that didn't last long enough. Wow, I, di I didn't realize they could recover so quickly. I know he's dead. Sad. Sad What's it dead world. What's it? <laughs> Ow. It's a mad world. Ow. Thank you for joining us. Oh, uh, it's a body shot. That's a nice body shot. Yeah, body shots of the liver. 